We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. What do you think? Oh, that? My big sister. Yeah, big sister. Mm -hmm. They're cardboard scissors. Clips? Yes. That's different kind of cardboard? It is, uh huh. Cardboard? That's cardboard. So I wonder what I'm going to make today. This is what is that? Cute. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think this, what? I think this is that is so cool. We're gonna soon enough I'll know what all this is. <laughs> it's kind of like membranes. How do you feel being 12? The same. You feel the same as 11? Yeah. You sure? Oh, you're so handsome. You're so big. <laughs> Hello oh, friends, I'm back in the boys room and I am in their little maker space. I'm very excited because I'm just always trying to think of ways that I can make this homeschool and life magical for them by like feeding their gifts and their interest and things like that the best way that I can. So I feel like that's what my strength is as um, their mom and their teacher and I really love it so much. So I got everything all set up on um, Cameron's birthday for his little maker space. How this came about, you guys, is uh, I do have a pegboard space in our garage studio space. And um, we haven't been able to use it as much as I would like to because that space is not insulated. Um, so we do use it and I do plan on still using it, but I am in the process of reorganizing or reconfiguring that space and how we're going to do that is I'm going to use that space for storing all of our art supplies and things like that so all of the messy things that would be out in the studio space but I wanted to have like a little maker space because lately they've been hanging out in um once it's bedtime uh they kind of move back towards their rooms and they read and they write and then they like to make and I thought instead of them hauling things from the other rooms back to this room it would be super fun to just kind of create a little pegboard back here that can hold their things really trying to make us a, a true thinkers type of space um, a space that doesn't have a whole bunch of in projects involved but rather just a lot of resources that he can that they can grab from and just create things and not really know what they're doing and um, yeah so that's kind of what we have going on here I understand that it's not for everybody it's it's challenging <laughs> it's challenging to deal with the mess and the clutter of it all and to try to wrap your mind around um, them using up resources, a lot of them being non-renewable resources, um, without having like a true end result. But I just kind of feel like that is the making of a true thinker, a true innovator, is when you put things in front of them and um, lay out each of their purposes and then let them do what they're going to do with this. So, a nice big board space in their room. And y'all, I have to say that I was struggling between... Uh, figuring out whether or not I do like a little sit down for this video but I think more and more I just want this to be a space where I'm 
really documenting how it is, you know what I mean? I think that so much of our social spaces are kind of making it seem like a lot of these things in our home schools and lives are implemented in one day or two days or whatever. But I think a lot of homeschool life and true living and learning comes um, with time and attention and care. And that's not something that can be summed up in like one sit down video. Um, where you can pull the maker space all completely together at once. I think a lot of it is trial and error. I've been building up this idea of space to make for a while now and a lot of it has been a whole bunch of error. <laughs> so we just get better. We just kind of um, just kind of keep progressing and working on the process. So, so I really like the IKEA pegboards. They are inexpensive. They're a good um, price and they have a lot of different accessories that were easy to find that wasn't the case with my pegboard out in um, the garage I found that a lot of the accessories were quite pricey um, and kind of hard to find uh, but these are like uh, very durable plastic bits and pieces that can be used in different ways the goal is not to have it perfect right now it's just to start it and just continue to work on it and um, yeah, just try to address the challenges as they come along. So if there's not enough space to hold his um, paper tubes or if he wants to have something to hang his craft paper roll or whatever the case may be, I think a lot of times um, people make mistakes and I've made mistakes in the past um, trying to start off with a completed idea but then you're not really addressing true issues that you might be having along that way I hope that makes sense so I figured we would just start with a few accessories and then kind of pay attention to how they're building and the things that they are looking for or asking for I noticed that over the last few weeks um, Cameron has been saying it'd be cool to have um, magnetic pieces that they, he could just hang certain things from so I tried to get magnets batteries uh, tape of course um, and then one of the issues we stumbled across with the tape because clearly it is a um, non-renewable resource is that he was using it so much and tape is actually expensive so we started moving into the realm of hot glue and I think that solved a lot of our tape problems so now we can actually hold on to tape for longer than two days so um, we're using hot glue these days we're using magnet pieces magnet tape um, we've got some faux leather sheets for making um, leather tags and shoes and things like that I got a little corner that's super messy over here that I still have to find a solution for that I haven't found yet because we do not have a massive space I have a small um, house that we love and we just have to figure out ways to make things fit and make things work better so as of right now all of his cardboard pieces kind of go in this section over here <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to get some kind of um, maybe a big rectangular piece of cardboard that I can split into three pieces for him to be able to stack up some of his cardboard I don't know it's a, a challenge that we have to try to take head on so I did get these little carts I like these they fit nicely this basket holds his paper tubes really nicely he likes these we normally just try to keep or hold on to regular uh, inner tubes of the paper towels and toilet rolls but these are really nice because they're thicker so he really likes those and these are some of his leather pieces his um, wire whatever these are called <laughs> Um, he's got some glue, some tear mender glue here. Then these are some electrical bits and pieces that I have no idea what they do, but he'll figure them out soon enough. Glue sticks are here. His starter kit for his electronics are here. He has um, Velcro, hockey tape, magnet tape some thread he's got a little light that has a magnet at the bottom that he loves to just kind of um, stick underneath his bed if he's working in there sometimes and then I plan on getting more of these because I like them a lot so the last thing that I'm going to do for now is just go ahead and hang his LED strip light his Grammy got him an LED fun colored full electric strip light that I thought would be really 
that will be that and we'll just see how it grows sometimes the fruit of this thing doesn't really seem to show itself um there's no like end project or end result that comes along because they're working through things they're uh, building and they're processing information and then they deconstruct and build it back up again and so my goal is really just to give him the space and the tools he needs and maybe some corresponding or helpful bits and pieces in the form of articles or books or things like that that's kind of my goal y'all <laughs> i love doing it um i'll show you a little clip of however his sign ends up turning out and this is what his makerspace was my baby's makerspace which is what we made for him for his 12th birthday because all he asked for was duct tape and hockey tape and magnets and a burrito <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe!